Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICC Mathematics Class 8 Chapter 14 Factorization Exercise 14G Questions 6 to 10. The sixth question says x square plus 5x minus 50. Now you look here carefully. You have to split the middle term in such a way that the sum is 5 plus 5 and product is what minus 50 be careful of the two signs plus 5 minus 50 we will begin now see x square now think of factors of 50 their sum is 5 and their product is 50 let's see um, so 50 goes how many times 10 and 5 right you can think carefully you will see 50 goes 1 times a 50 not possible 2 in 25 not possible and 5 and 10 are the only options possible how we can do 10 minus 5 with that will give me plus 5 and we can do 10 into minus 5 that will give me minus 50 so see I won't give any signs right now now look here I want positive sum that means the greater quantity will be plus that means 10 will be plus when sum is positive okay the greater quantity is plus okay and the product is negative so that means the second quantity which is our smaller quantity that will be minus negative now 10 into minus 5 minus 50 10 minus 5 plus 5 this is okay now you can group it x square plus 10x in one group and minus 5x minus 50 in another group i am separating the two groups by plus so that it is clear okay now here we can take x common you will have x plus 10 here minus minus we can take outside the bracket 5 also we can take outside the bracket so x minus is gone so plus and 50 goes 10 times by 5 x plus 10 now see you will be left with what you can take x plus take uh, x plus 10 common from both the groups x plus 10 you take common you will have here what x you will have here what minus 5 that is what our final answer right x plus 10 into x minus 5 see the seventh question now but here we have a square minus 10 a plus 16 look at the middle term minus 10 a you have to split this term in such a way that the sum is minus 10 product is plus 16 okay now see look at the expression carefully think of factors of 16 don't go at the sign now just go positive think of factors of 16 that have the sum as 10 let's see 8 and 2 can be taken here okay 8 and 2 we can take because 8 into 2 is 16 8 plus 2 is 10 but we have to change the signs because 1 is minus so that means we also have to change the signs therefore you can take a square and then 8a and 2a but don't give it signs for now you might be confused if you are good at this then you can give the signs directly while you are writing it is up to you now see we want the sum as minus when sum is minus that means both the quantities are minus okay minus plus minus okay when you are adding two negative quantities you get negative only that is clear that's why I have made both of my terms minus now let's see if it is correct or not the product is positive so minus into minus when you are multiplying two negative quantities the outcome is positive so minus 8 into minus 2 plus 16 minus 8 minus 2 minus 10 our work is done now we can take the groups a square minus 8a in one group plus minus 2a plus 16 in another group so a common from here you will have a minus 8 minus 2 common okay from here so minus we can take outside the bracket and 2 also can be taken common so a minus 8 right minus 2 minus 2 cancels 16 and minus 2 gives you minus 8 when you divide it now a minus 8 we can take common from both the groups we will have a minus 2 left this is your answer clear now let's move on to the next question now see here in the eighth question we have x square minus 4x minus 5 
pretty clear we have to split this middle term that is minus 4x in such a way that the sum of the terms will be minus 4 and the product will be minus 5 now what you will do here right what can you do here let's see factors of 5 which we can take here their sum is minus 4 let's forget minus for now so 5 okay factors of 5 whose sum is 4 so 5 and 1 see here x square and first of all it is very clear we will take 5x and x or you can write 1x if you want but we don't generally write 1 okay and minus 5 here now I as I was saying we will take minus 5x and plus 1x here okay that I was saying why see minus 5 into plus 1 so that will remain minus 5 clear the product will be minus 5 only minus 5 plus 1 multiply minus 5 minus 5 plus 1 if you add so what will happen 1 will 1 you subtract so minus 4 you are left with okay minus 4 so see here you can take the groups now x square minus 5x and x minus 5 so from here we can take x common and we will be left with x minus 5 from this group we can take 1 common when nothing we can take common so just take out 1 from here okay now x minus 5 common from both the groups so we will have x plus 1 here which is your answer see now the ninth question says a square plus 2a minus 48 um, okay fine let's look we can't think directly so let's use prime factorization first of all see you have to split the middle term in such a way that the sum is plus 2 product is minus 48 that is clear to us so we will take 48 now okay and prime factorize this 24 12 6 3 2 1 now it is clear from here what factors we have to choose okay look carefully 2 and 2 2 into 2 4 okay and 4 into 2 is what 8 right 3 into 2 is what 6 8 minus 2 is what sorry 8 minus 6 is what 2 okay see what we have done we have prime factorized this first of all we have got 2 and 2 and 2 here so we have multiplied these three twos which has given us 8 and 3 and 2 which was left we have multiplied that has given us 6 8 minus 6 we can do we will get plus 2 and 8 into minus 6 we will do so we will get minus 48 let's split it a square okay and what did i say plus 8 a minus 6 a minus 48 directly 8 into minus 6 is minus 48 8 minus 6 is plus 2 so you can make the groups also now a square plus 8a in one group minus 6a minus 48 in another group a common you will have a plus 8 here and minus 6 common you will have a minus a plus 8 here right minus outside the bracket so this will become positive so you will have a plus 8 in one bracket and a minus 6 in another bracket that is what your final answer now let's move on to the next question right see the 10th question what does the 10th question say x square minus 2x minus 24 so we have to split the middle term which is minus 2 in such a way that sum will be minus 2 and product will be minus 24 how do we do this okay first of all the product is in negative what can happen uh, only one scenario can happen one term is positive one term is negative okay when a product is negative so one term is positive another term has to be negative plus into minus gives you minus and minus 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 into minus is plus and plus into plus is of course plus so the only scenario is that we have to split it in two terms such that one plus is one term is plus and one term is minus so what can we take now let me see and also if the sum is minus 2 
sum is minus sum is negative then that means the greater term is negative let's see let's think of factors of 24 in such a way let's see so 12 and 2 not possible okay 6 and 4 yes they are having the difference of 2 okay somewhere near they are having difference of 2 we can play with the signs later on first you write down 6x and you write 4x and then you have minus 24 the rest of your question so now think sum has to be minus sum has to be in negative and product also has to be in negative what i said one term positive one term negative greater term negative smaller term positive greater term is 6x you write this negative and smaller term is 4x you write this positive this is just not a it's not a rule but i'm just telling you right from the way it's done but you can also do it anyway if you want you can think and see minus 6 into plus 4 is what minus 24 minus 6 and plus 4 if you add what are you left with minus 2 is it is it over now yes of course we have fulfilled all the conditions we can further move on and solve this right so that is clear how we have got this there is no such rule you just have to think carefully 6 and 4 had a difference of 2 that we wanted here and then we have written them and changed their signs and we have got it now you can take in one group x square minus 6 in another group you can take 4x minus 24 x you can take common you will have x minus 6 and from the second group you can take 4 common you will have x minus 6 now you can take x minus 6 common from both the groups you have left x plus 4 here this is your answer all right and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye